center of the United States is a region known as Tornado Alley. A name well earned, for it is home to the most violent and destructive tornadoes on Earth. Tornado Alley is an area of the United States that pretty much takes up the heart of the state. So it's from Texas, Kansas, um, Oklahoma, uh, South Dakota. It's the area right in the middle of the United States which is called Tornado Alley. Well, a tornado chaser is someone who chases tornadoes. They're, they're in a vehicle, um, they spot a storm, and they track it, you know, and they try and get as close to the tornado as they feel comfortable doing. For us, we feel very comfortable because we have a tank, we have armor, so we go actually into a tornado. Also in the field is Sean Casey. His mission, never before attempted, to obtain information and imagery from inside a tornado. I fell in love with storm chasing in 1999. Uh, we were making a film called Forces of Nature and we needed a subject matter to follow. We had earthquakes and we had volcanoes but we needed a third. So I volunteered to go take the IMAX camera um, out to Tornado Alley to storm chase and that was 1999 and I felt completely in love um, with the environment and the power out there. So I knew right then and there that I wanted to do an entire IMAX film um, just on tornadoes because I wanted to capture the intensity and, and the love that I felt um, with an IMAX camera and show that to a larger audience. The storm looks like it's intensifying and uh, certainly could produce something in the next few minutes. We have a meteorologist on our team, so he's forecasting. He's looking at all the weather models on the computer, on the internet, to see which area is most likely to produce a tornado the following day. And so we drive to that location, and then on that day, we keep looking on, inter on the internet to see which area within a certain state looks the most likely to produce a tornado, and then we drive to that area. And then as the storms form in that area, we choose the storm that's most likely to put down a tornado and then we follow that storm from in front waiting for it to develop a tornado and then that, when it does that then we drive right towards it to film it. The IMAX camera is a very large camera. It weighs 92 pounds, it's 40 inches across, it's, it, it needs a tripod, something to stand on and for us what we needed to do was create a movable tripod, an armored vehicle to put the camera in and to build a turret for the top of the vehicle so that we could film in any direction uh, while we were moving or while we were stopped. Because the environment out there is very quick moving. You see a shot and it's over within you know, a minute. So you needed to have a tool, a tank, to get the shots that we needed for this film. Tornadoes can be very violent. You can have tornadoes that have 100 miles per hour winds, or you can have tornadoes that have 300 mile per hour winds. So there's a range of strength with tornadoes. So we had to build a tank, you know, a tank that was very heavy, was really low to the ground, and had anchors, these spikes that go into the ground, so that we would stay in one spot, so that we wouldn't be picked up, like a house would be picked up in a tornado, and then thrown into the air. Tornado Alley is a name well earned, for it is home to nearly 80% of the world's most violent tornadoes. The destruction they leave behind each year is enormous, and the human toll is no less devastating. We've come to understand why so many tornadoes plague this region, but we still cannot predict with great accuracy where and when they will strike. Oh, we, uh, th this whole film, we wanted to film right next to tornadoes and inside of them. So we we've, we've, we've take our tank, we, we, we position it, we drive in front of a tornado, we deploy um, these panels that go to the ground to block the wind, we put the spikes in, and then the tornado comes directly at us and then impacts us. All the while, we're filming that with an IMAX camera 
to capture what it really feels like to be in a tornado. On our tanks, we have an instrument package that measures wind speed, wind direction. It measures temperature of the winds that we're in, um, the humidity of those winds. It's kind of like a little teeny uh, weather station, our vehicle, that goes into these tornadoes to measure what's happening on the ground. South 6A, tornado is forming in the current storm. 100 meters, but do the best you can. You don't have much time. We're dropping that third pod right now. Yeah, we, we have a, a tank that goes into tornadoes, but we also have vehicles that follow us to film us because we have to have as many angles as possible to catch the action as it unfolds. For, for the real sound of tornadoes, it's extremely difficult because it's so loud. Microphones, you know, inside tornadoes, they overmodulate. There's just too much power in the air for them to really catch the sound. So we have to recreate that sound afterwards to try and mimic exactly what we were hearing at the time. IMAX film Tornado Alley follows the scientific expedition called Vortex 2. And Vortex 2 you know, had a hundred researchers and they had different types of radar trucks. Some radar trucks had round dishes that were scanning, other ones had square uh, dishes that were scanning. All these radar trucks were collecting different types of radar data. So some of the radar trucks would go very close to the tornado, while other radar trucks were 20 miles away. And so they were collecting all these different scans to see what the structure of the whole storm was compared to the structure of the actual tornado that they were forming. We, the, the scientists don't use spaceships to uh, look at tornadoes. There are satellites that they will look at satellite imagery to see moisture coming into the United States. Or they use satellite imagery to see the storms going up. But it's, it's the resolution that these satellites get really doesn't play into the micro scale of how um, scientists study tornadoes. Well, they do have uh, computer modeling um, programs that will take real life data and place them into the computer to have computer simulated tornadoes to see if they change certain data how does that change tornado formation but all that data that they're using in computers is data that they have actually collected in the field there's no way that you would harness the power of a tornado for electricity I mean they're very fleeting they're very violent um, there's no way to tap into that power at all there's no military chasing tornadoes, no. It, it, it's storm chasers, they're people that are weather enthusiasts that like to go out and witness these spectacles. There's also science teams in the field that are going to collect data <clears throat> on why some storms produce tornadoes and others do not. So it's, it's usually scientists and storm enthusiasts. The weather service is monitoring these storms that form. And when a storm starts to so show rotation on radar, or if they have storm spotters that actually see a tornado forming, they call that into the weather station. The weather station then notifies the towns that are in the path of that um, storm and tornado, and then those towns will trigger their, their tornado sirens. So you have these sirens in these towns that, you know, warn the people. And people usually have about 13 minutes of warning time, on average, before a tornado strikes their community. People live in the middle of the United States because it's agriculture. Uh, people live in Florida and they can have hurricanes. People live in California be and they still have earthquakes. I mean, people have to live somewhere and every location seems to have its own danger as far as the forces of Mother Nature. This film was made to show, you know, the awesome spectacle of weather. So, you know, I didn't have a target audience in mind. Um, we made this film so that, you know, children could understand it and we made it so that, you know, adults um, would also appreciate the information and the images that we collected over eight years of filming. Large tornado visible, east to the down. It's directly behind us! It's coming up on the road! Three down, three down! 